Introduction to the Full-Time Mage's Plant Holy Sage Slow progress plus gold finger takes a long time to release plus single female lead ten years later, the world remains cold, and a magical era has emerged. In an era where fusion magic can be taught, even if one still lives in the base city, a forbidden curse has planned to assassinate the Emperor Book Friend Group. 7914618244 Let's Play Together Chapter 1 Destruction and Rebirth You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The magic tower stands tall in the center of the city, suddenly shining with light that attracts the attention of everyone in the city. The guard walls of the city were suddenly destroyed, and seawater poured into the city like a silver basin, carrying a strong smell of fishy smell. The sky is shrouded in dark clouds, with lightning constantly breaking through the night sky, sometimes accompanied by deafening thunder. Numerous buildings collapsed with the surging sea water, humans screamed and sea monsters howled, enveloping the entire city in a dull, tense, and tragic atmosphere. Magicians appeared in the city center, shining with magical lights of different colors, leading them to resist the surging sea monsters. The sea monsters are dark all over, with a sturdy physique but a snake-like speed. Compared to human magic, they stand still and if there are scars, green liquid will continuously emerge from the wounds. A fierce battle broke out, and the magicians jumped, dodged, and attacked. Their palms were open and closed, and the destructive magic released in the flickering light kept exploding on the sea monster, causing it to scream and take off from the sea. Humans are also focused on fighting, their breath gradually becoming heavy, their armor and shields disappearing time and time again in the attacks of sea monsters, but they have not retreated. In order to defend their homeland, they sacrifice their lives and sacrifice their lives, shouting at the top of their lungs. There are countless races of demons, and in this battle, there were even many sea monsters that had never been truly recorded before. Their methods were even more bizarre and defenseless, but even so, Humans continued to injure and drive away these sea monsters that invaded their homes, and eventually died in the hands of even more powerful sea monsters. The cry of a child echoed through the air like an electric wave, desolate, disheartening, and heart-wrenching. All residents can clearly see the terrifying scene of the entire city, with ruins scattered all over the ground, oozing with crimson-black liquid, corpses scattered everywhere, and limbs broken. At this moment, light and darkness spread together, becoming the only record of this moment. A dragon chant suppressed the sea demons raging on the land of Shenzhou. Even the emperor couldn't help but tremble, and the sea demons' attack slowed down. Then, with another call, the emperor outside the demon capital went to the capital, leaving behind a group of sea demons. Until the end of the battle, the sea monsters in the demon capital gradually retreated. After an unknown amount of time, the scene gradually subsided, leaving only floating black clouds in the sky, and a thick stench covered the entire city. Countless humans have fallen into silence, while many lives have also lost the opportunity to speak out. The demons have not been invaded by the sea demons, but the pain brought by the sea demons is once again expanding at this moment. People watch their loved ones leave and do not know how to comfort those who are sad and in pain. The key is that they have also lost their own loved ones. In the ruins, a woman holding a crying child looked at the house destroyed by the sea demon, her originally resolute expression also sinking into sadness. Her body still bears traces of battle, it is obvious that she left here with her child, and this child is now her only remaining relative. Before this, the ruins in front of her were still very lively, from now on, it's only us left. Ten years is enough to hide sadness in the deepest memories, whether you want to recall it or forget it, it cannot hinder most people from continuing to live with their remaining loved ones or alone. The opening of Zholong Third Magic High School has excited many children, as it is the day when they awaken to magic and the most important stage in their lives. Becoming a magician is something that the vast majority of people aspire to, especially for people today. The appearance of a group of magicians means that in the future, an extremely powerful magician may stand out from them, ultimately protecting one side and making people's lives better. The awakening stones on the playground lit up one color after another, 
indicating that these new students had awakened a magic, and tiny stardust appeared from their spiritual world. State Dragon Magic High School originally used extremely expensive guide stones to help students awaken, but after the Battle of the Sea Demons, many resources in the sea were excavated, and some things that could replace guide stones emerged, also known as magic crystals. With just one stone and further processing, it can help many students awaken the corresponding magic. Of course, the guide prices for elemental magic, white magic, black magic, and dimensional magic are not the same. The rarer the magic department, the more precious it is, and the more expensive it is. Many people hope that their children can awaken stronger magic, so they raise the price to make their children awaken black and white magic and dimensional magic that they think are more powerful. These school authorities also did not go to them. Obstruction But most students still focus on awakening elemental magic, and the number of students who want to awaken thunder and fire elements is higher than other awakening elemental magic, because in their view, thunder and fire elements are undoubtedly powerful. Students from wind, water, and light also looked enviously at those who had awakened to thunder fire. If it weren't for the higher price of thunder fire element awakening, which exceeded their budget, they would have joined in and become part of thunder fire magic. Of course, students who have awakened to ice magic are not too envious, because their 9.year compulsory education in magic has reminded them more than once that ice magic will not be weaker than thunder and fire magic in the future, and the key is to see how the magician cultivates it. The voices of students and awakened magic departments echoed in different elemental squares. Mao Xiaosu, the awakening of the wind style has been successful. Ji Shani, successful awakening of the wind system. Awakened successfully. Song Yu, the awakening of the wind system succeeded. Jiang Yui, the wind system. Hmm, the awakening plant system. The teacher in charge of the awakening wind formation glanced at the green radiance that was different from the blue color, hesitated for a few seconds, and then said, which attracted many students from the awakening wind, as well as those from the awakening water and light departments next door to take a look. The wind system has awakened into the plant system. Although it is stated that guiding awakening is not 100% successful, it is the first time these students have seen the situation of awakening from elemental magic to white magic. The guiding teacher is not surprised, after all, he has been a teacher for many years and has seen such situations many times. After telling the student who awakened the plant magic about the position of the plant square, he continued to call for the next student to come and awaken the magic. The awakening of the water system was successful. Teacher, what I awaken is the thunder system, it's the thunder system, why is it the water system? Classmate, I've already said that guiding awakening is not 100% successful, and it's not a big deal. Go ahead, the water system is there, the guidance teacher said nonchalantly. But what I paid was for the awakening thunder series, why awakening water series, why doesn't it have any combat power? The student cried and howled, but was soon driven into the water series square by a teacher who looked thin but had huge strength. Other students could also be heard awakening into other series in the crowd, but more of them were awakened into elemental magic by black and white dimensional magic students, after all, students with this physique are still in the majority. Jiang Yui looked at this situation and his originally bitter expression also eased a bit. He doesn't want to awaken other genres either. What he wants is the wind genre, which comes and goes without a trace and is incredibly elegant. How did he awaken to the plant genre, with a green color similar to that? Did the heavens give him the wrong color due to eye problems? How could so many people awaken him to the plant genre? Arriving at the square array of the botanical department, Jiang Yui noticed one or two students walking from the botanical department to the square array of the wind department, their eyes seeming to spit out bitterness. Don't leave, let's change. Everyone is awakened and crooked. Jiang Yui shouted inwardly and eventually walked into the phalanx of the botanical system. Well, Jiang Yui, good luck. He awakened from elemental magic to white magic. Although there were some cases, they weren't many. The teacher from the botanical department looked at Jiang Yui and nodded in satisfaction. 
So far, there have been eight awakened students in the Department of Botany in this class. If there were one or two more, it would be even better. The teaching standards are high, which can also prove the teacher's ability. MMM hmm. Jiang Yui nodded and obediently entered the botanical team. There are not many students who want to awaken the Department of Botany, and there are only over 20 on ZhaoZhuyuan.com, with a success rate of 20. 30%. The remaining students who did not awaken the Department of Botany but awakened other departments are relatively few compared to those who awakened the Dimensional Department. All of them forced themselves into the Elemental Magic Team Jiang Yui gave a bitter smile and finally accepted the fact that he had awakened to the botanical system. The tiny green starry dust in the spiritual world lay inside, looking extremely dim, but also possessing strong vitality. Plant type, one of the white magic, can summon vines to control the enemy's pace, resist thunder type attacks, and resist earth type attacks, but fear fire type. Jiang Yui thought of various things about plant type, then fell asleep again until the awakening was over and he was awakened by others. Yui, Yui, the awakening is over, we should go. A sweet voice made Jiang Yui open his eyes and look around in confusion, realizing that the awakening had ended. The noisy sound was caused by the students' trampling and noise, and the several lines of awakening magic on the distant podium were even more eye-dot-catching. Number of Dimensional Magic Awakenings 8. Number of Dark Magic Awakens 13. The White Magic Awakened 31, and the Plant Department Awakened 13, Jiang Yui said inwardly, and then expressed gratitude to his female classmate who woke him up. Don't you know me? We're in the same school in junior high school. The female classmate exclaimed in dissatisfaction, leaving Jiang Yui in a daze for a few seconds. Then, he looked at the female classmate seriously and looked at her. The female classmate looked at Jiang Yui without saying a word and even looked at her. Her gaze quickly shifted and she said, the teacher asked us to go over and gather. Let's go quickly. After speaking, the female classmate left here, leaving Jiang Yui alone. Chapter 2 Rules of Magic High School You are listening at NovelFull.audio The awakening time is from morning to noon, and the time arranged by the school is just right. The formal teaching starts the next day, and the awakening day is just a student's awakening in class arrangement. Jiang Yui met his classmates who had also awakened to the botanical department, and also remembered who the female classmate who had just awakened him was. Fu Yueling, a student who excels in both moral and academic performance in junior high school, is also invited by many magic high schools. Compared to her, Jiang Yui is like an ordinary person in a crowd that is not easily noticed, only able to look up at the backs of these proud children, without even the opportunity to get to know them. However, being able to attend the same high school and still be in the same department is also a rare and unexpected thing for him. I once again expressed my gratitude to Fu Yueling, and the two of them officially got to know each other. Fu Yueling didn't care too much about what happened to Jiang Yui just now. Looking at Jiang Yui's sincere expression, she also felt relieved. In the entire botanical department class, only the two of them were from the same school, so Jiang Yui and Fu Yueling had a great conversation. Some students also noticed their situation, but did not pay attention to it. For more elemental classes, the probability of them coming from the same school was higher, but Fu Yueling's beauty attracted the attention of some boys. This situation persisted until the teacher arrived and informed them of the plans for students at State Dragon Magic High School. In high school for three years, they have to stay in the same class for two years until the third year. Students need to arrange mixed classes based on their grades and cultivation, and also go through an experience to test their level of control over their own magic when facing danger. In the mixed class arrangement for the third year, Students with higher rankings will have the opportunity to cultivate stardust magic tools, which is of great help to their cultivation. Of course, those who have money but don't need them will naturally not care about these rewards. They only care about one thing, which is the unique method of State Dragon Magic High School. The fusion method, although it is something that can be obtained by any magician, 
is only known to the teachers of State Dragon Magic High School about how to quickly master it and the possible problems it may encounter. It is also difficult for ordinary people to see these teachers, and even if there are problems, there is no way to solve them. Only by relying on one's own network and knowledge can one gradually master the fusion magic, and finally achieve the fusion between different types of magic. Without a doubt, only in school can they have the opportunity to master the fusion magic within a year. Once they reach the intermediate level of magicians, they can merge the awakened second series and truly unleash their own fusion magic. These methods are only taught in formal teaching. Even though they are excited to join the State Dragon Magic High School, they understand that nothing can be rushed and that taking one step at a time is safe. After all, there is no fusion magic in the second department, and for these students, it is just a useless method. After the teacher informed the students of the school rules that needed attention, they were asked to leave and prepare for the official class the next day. Are you not staying on campus? Fu Yueling looked curiously at Jiang Yui walking in the other direction and asked. Well, my home is near the school, so it can be considered a blessing and a curse. The sea demon destroyed my home, and when we rebuilt it, the school was planned to be built nearby. Jiang Yui replied, collecting the student ID card he had issued, and immediately left. The advantage of school district housing lies here. I don't know how many people want to purchase Jiang Yui's home at a high price and build beautiful high-dot-rise buildings to maximize the advantages of school district housing. In fact, many people have also taken action due to the temptation of high prices. Of course, there are also some people who choose not to move out here, and Jiang Yui's home is one of them. See you tomorrow, then. See you tomorrow. Jiang Yui left the school gate and walked only one or two kilometers before returning home. He also returned to his own room and looked at his bookshelf. All the books are about sea monsters, even the latest version of the sea monster introduction book appears on the bookshelf. Across from the bookshelf is Jiang Yui's bed. Every time he wakes up, he can see the cover of the book at the top of the bookshelf, with several sea monsters waving their teeth and claws. Although they are on a lifeless book, in Jiang Yui's view, this is the truly living demon who will come up and bite him at any time. It was these sea monsters who, after entering the demon capital, killed his parents and almost stripped him of everything. Taking down the latest version of the book, Jiang Yui sat at the desk looking, so shaoi, aren't you saving money? The money for awakening elemental magic, awakening white magic, really gives me a long face. Have you figured out how to cultivate next? You also worked hard to get into Zhou Long Magic High School. Can't you be as lazy as middle school? I can't help you with the plant department. By the way, do you need the Stardust Magic Tool? The cost of this item seems very expensive, at least 10 million. I think this price is relatively reassuring. At least I am a mid-level wizard and have a little savings. On the brown sofa, a slender woman wearing an unsheathed pajama looked at her nephew, exhausted but very happy. She was happy that he had awakened magic, but also felt confused about his path of cultivation. The plant department is not a magic department that few people practice nowadays, but how to systematically cultivate it is still a problem for many people. Even in schools, the teaching is more about knowledge, and practical combat is even less. It is impossible to just pull a demon to fight them. Many summoning mages regard their summoning beasts as treasures, and they are very angry when injured because there is nothing important. No need, auntie. There are not many people who awaken to the botanical department. Even in textbooks, there are relatively general teachings on cultivation experience now. You still need to worry about yourself. The city demon hunting team is very dangerous. When will you retire? When I graduate, I will make money for you to retire. Jiang Yui replied while washing up, only to see a flame flash by and immediately become honest. Pu, who are you raising? Ning Yun spat and had no intention of continuing, so he returned to his room to rest. By the way, I remember teaching you how to practice meditation. You can give it a try in advance, 
and it will take about an hour. Jiang Yui smiled silently and returned to his room. The next day, the third magic high school in Zhoulong started. Jiang Yui came to the classroom and saw Fu Yueling, who was already alone in the classroom. She sat in her seat with her eyes tightly closed, emitting a faint scent of plants. She is practicing meditation, right in the classroom. Last night, Jiang Yui tried to practice meditation. For an hour, his starry dust was still incredibly small, but his spirit felt exhausted afterwards, so he slept heavily. Now that he saw Fu Yueling exploring meditation on her own so early, he was only slightly surprised and didn't pay much attention. He casually chose a seat to sit down and wait for the arrival of other students and teachers. As time passed, students who had awakened to the botanical department gradually entered the classroom. They were also surprised when they saw Fu Yueling practicing in the dark, and curious about how Fu Yueling's time of cultivation could cultivate the tiny botanical starry dust to what extent. As all the personnel arrived, Fu Yueling also opened her eyes and looked at the slightly quiet classmates, and then at Jiang Yui who was looking at the scenery outside the window. She had long known that Jiang Yui had arrived at the classroom, but he still chose the farthest position from him, as if he was moving away from her. Is there anything on her that makes Jiang Yui feel terrifying? Not long after, Yi Ziyuan, the homeroom teacher responsible for teaching students in the Department of Botany, also walked in when the class bell rang. Wearing a pair of glasses and holding a textbook in his hand, he looked quite like a scholar, but the stubble on his face had not been treated. Looking at the Shuyuan website www.jiaoshuyuan.com, he wore an uncle-like face to match this temperament, which always made the students feel strange. After introducing himself, Yi Ziyuan also began formal teaching and told the students that as a magician, the first thing to do is to practice meditation. As students of the Demon City, they basically know these methods. Some people have also tried meditation after awakening magic and found that it is not a very simple thing. After completing meditation, they will be very tired, and if someone disturbs them during the process, the situation will be even worse. This is also the second thing I want to tell you, first of all, do not disturb others' cultivation, because meditation is extremely important for any magician, not only for oneself, but also for others. In the regulations of State Dragon Magic High School, disturbing others' cultivation must also pay a corresponding price. Yi Ziyuan wrote the second possible problem on the blackboard and solemnly told students not to disturb others' cultivation. Previously, a student who liked to do small actions disturbed the cultivation of more than ten students in the dormitory, causing some students to have very low cultivation efficiency. In the end, they were expelled by the school, which also had a deterrent effect. This situation has basically not occurred, but as a precaution, this example should still be used to warn students. The third point is the rules that you will need to follow in your future classes. I won't go into too much detail, but the fourth point is the rewards for each academic year. This semester, the ranking will be based on your admission scores, and there will be no rewards. However, the next semester is also a characteristic of State Dragon Magic High School. We will hire some summoning mages to summon a summoning beast, and let you face demons without suppressing their own breath. Whoever gets closer to that summoning beast will also have more time to practice the star dust magic tool in the next semester. Chapter 3 About Meditation You are listening at NovelFull.audio As Yi Ziyuan spoke, some students widened their eyes and their faces turned ugly. I haven't heard those old people say that. Why do we have to face summoning beasts? Isn't that just facing demons? Summoning beasts, no matter what, are also demons. If it weren't for the special ability of summoning mages to control summoning beasts, some summoning beasts that are already prone to killing may not be willing to obey summoning mages and directly attack the target they have locked in. But even if they have to face the summoning beasts of demons, they are not very calm. There is no other reason. They live in the base city of the demon capital, and all of them have seen the sea monsters ravaging the demon capital since they were young. Some students may have been frightened by the sea monsters. 
Although becoming a magician means having to face demons in the future, it is also after their own magic control is completed. They may not be able to make the four star sons obedient students in the past six months. How could they remain calm in their hearts after facing the summoning beasts that show a fierce appearance? This is the teaching exploration of Zholong Magic High School. Of course, if you feel that you can't pass it, you can privately apply to me not to participate. Of course, you will also lose extra time to cultivate Stardust magic tools. Additionally, if you can still release magic when facing summoning beasts next year, you will receive longer cultivation time, which will be even more helpful to you and have the opportunity to get help from the principal. Yi Ziyuan ignored the student's ugly expressions and continued, specifically mentioning the principal. There are several principals of Zholong Magic High School now, but the principal of Zholong Third Magic High School and also the principal of First Magic High School has been sealed off. The headmaster is not only the headmaster of the Magic High School, but also the chief judge of the Oriental Pearl TV Tower Magic Tower Senior Judgment. He is a powerful and respected elder. Some students who have been appreciated by him can enter the judgment meeting and obtain extremely rich resources by working hard after they go to university. Now, there is a deputy chief judge in the high court of the Demon City, who is also his student. There is also the totem hero M.O. Fan, who is well dot known throughout the world, who is also his student. Yesterday, the highest leader responsible for overseeing the school's order was only the vice principal, and also the third in command. The second in command was the renowned member of the Mu family, Mu Nujio, who founded the State Dragon First Magic High School, allowing students to learn the fusion method. However, it seems that they are all at the State Dragon First Magic High School and have not come to the third high school, otherwise the students would personally meet the senior judge who is impossible to meet in society. These pieces of information are now publicly available, and the students who understand the situation at State Dragon Magic High School are also less gloomy, their eyes lit up. If I could really see that principal and get help, even a little guidance would be immensely beneficial. You're feeling energized now, right? Yi Ziyuan looked at these revitalized students and asked. The students nodded exceptionally obediently, indicating that they would never ignore any word from this homeroom teacher. Yi Ziyuan nodded with satisfaction and gave the students a formal lecture with peace of mind. The large number of students makes the originally quiet school full of noise. Except for the second and third year high school students, almost all the new students are discussing the uniqueness and strength of their respective magic. The vast majority of students awaken to elemental magic, so more are gathered around students from other magic departments. The students in the Dimension Department are the most concerned, whether they are in the Space Department, Summoning Department, or in the Sound and Chaos Departments, they have received very strong attention. These students also have a very superior feeling, and their arrogant appearance makes them look like proud children in heaven. Several senior students looked at the appearance of these Dimensional students and shook their heads helplessly, especially the senior who was also from the Space Department. He used to look like this before, but later he went crazy and slapped his face, have you also tried practicing? Fu Yueling asked curiously as she looked at Jiang Yui, who was not as eager to engage in meditation as other students. Jiang Yui was originally listening to other people's conversations and pondering whether her meditation had any effect. However, Fu Yueling took the initiative to walk over and was momentarily stunned for a few seconds before answering immediately. Yes, I practiced meditation last night. How was the effect of your meditation? Fu Yueling shook her head and said, there hasn't been much progress. This was also a situation from the beginning. Our stardust is too small, and we need to work hard in meditation to increase the intensity of the stardust together in order to have a clear feeling. Otherwise, even communicating with the stardust will increase a great mental burden. Jiang Yui also felt the same way. Fortunately, he also learned about it through his aunt. Otherwise, he really thought that this stardust had not made any progress, even though he had been practicing diligently for an hour. But just like studying, how can an hour of hard work have a very obvious effect, unless suddenly enlightened, 
or if you have obtained some genius dungeon that leads to a rapid increase in cultivation progress, but in Jiang Yui's memory, this genius dungeon only has a stardust magic weapon. The two of them were also practicing meditation for the first time, without any cultivation experience. If there were any, it would be very tiring after practicing. So soon, Fu Yueling wanted to lie down on the table and rest, but she also returned to her seat first. Jiang Yui's gaze at Fu Yueling was full of confusion, not understanding why she only said a few words when she came to her side. Although she had so many friends, she only met her yesterday, right? However, it is also possible that she is already very tired, so she did not leave her position for too long, just came to ask. Some students who were first exposed to magic were eager to engage in meditation, but due to the noise around them, they couldn't calm down. After a little meditation, they withdrew from the state and had to plan to start meditation after school. Summer turns autumn, and fallen leaves roll in the wind, drifting into the campus playground. Beside the playground, there is a dense shade of green, and the afternoon sun shines through the gaps in the leaves, turning into slanted rays of light, like a special autumn stage. Breath, breath. Jiang Yui ran along with other classmates on the playground until he finished running one kilometer. He took his towel and washed the sweat off his face. It seems true that awakening magic has really improved my physical fitness. If it were two months ago, I wouldn't dare say if I could finish one kilometer in five minutes. Jiang Yui let out his breath for a moment, and then a classmate's hand rested on his shoulder. Chen Jiala, who is also a student in the Department of Botany, is not as panting as Jiang Yui, but rather very energetic. From his clothes, it can be seen that he definitely exercises regularly. This is also the second classmate that Jiang Yui met in school. It seems that this magic is quite useful. I think my speed is much faster than before. What do you think about it at Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com, Yui? Chin Jiala's eyes lit up and he said. I think even if you don't have magic, you can still reach this speed, Jiang Yui replied, patting Chin Jiala's hand and washing her face again before leaving with a towel. I'm going back, do you still want to play basketball? Jiang Yui asked before leaving. Of course. Remember not to forget to cultivate. Jiang Yui has a good understanding of Chin Jiala, and often forgets to practice when he is tired of playing, and then says something indifferent. Just one or two days less of cultivation, there's no problem, ha huh? Chin Jiala replied with a smile, by the way, remember to bring me that book, I need to use that book. Chin Jiala later said that Jiang Yui also agreed to his words again, and then left school to practice again at home. Entering the spiritual world, Jiang Yui couldn't help but marvel at the long path of cultivation as he watched the plant stardust barely blooming with a hint of green light. Three months later, from awakening magic to now, Jiang Yui cultivated stardust from a green-gray appearance to releasing green light. It took three months, and at the same time, he also saw the lively and bouncing stars on the stardust, who looked rich in personality, as free as a child, and didn't even need to care about clothing, food, housing, and transportation. At the beginning of the third month, he began to control the stars, and currently only controls the second one. Communication with each star is somewhat difficult, but fortunately there is not a complete lack of opportunities. The third star will be almost healed in a while, while the fourth star will probably not be able to control until this winter vacation. Jiang Yui muttered to himself, and when the time for meditation was over, he slept again, unable to hear the sound outside the room. Chapter 4 Measurement of Meditation You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The sunlight fell on the classroom where there were already students, the leaves rustled, and the wind accidentally lifted the hem of the students' clothes. However, not many people paid attention, and instead, the arrival of the cold made it difficult for many students to bear. There was such a big sun in the morning, but the temperature was so low that it almost blew people crazy. Now the weather in the south is really unpredictable, okay. Here, the book you want. Jiang Yui handed the book to Chin Jiala, with a shark man on the cover, 
carrying seawater as if about to break out of the seal. However, the cover was ultimately the cover, without any vitality. Chen Jiala saw that Jiang Yui had received the book, and a smile appeared on his face. However, Jiang Yui did not believe that Chen Jiala wanted to use the book to read, as if it had some purpose. Chen Jiala did not tell Jiang Yui what this was for, but instead used actions to indicate what he wanted to do. Fu, this is the latest version of the Sea Demon Illustrated Mirror you mentioned last time. I have it. Chen Jiala held the book in front of Fu Yueling, who was thinking about the problem, causing her to be stunned for two or three seconds. Jiang Yui stared at Chen Jiala's behavior with wide eyes, never realizing that he actually wanted to do so. Soul faint, lending my book to someone else is something a normal person would do. Chen Jiala still looked at Fu Yueling with a smile, and Fu Yueling politely thanked Chen Jiala. She immediately accepted the book and promised to return it to him after reading it. Chen Jiala walked back with a smile and saw Jiang Yui with a shocked expression on his face. He felt a bit embarrassed, but still had the audacity to thank Jiang Yui. You look really ugly when exposed like this, Jiang Yui said in the end. I don't know, I have also watched some of them. There are some short videos with general introductions about this kind of thing, so I can learn it, Chen Jiala said nonchalantly. Speaking of which, I was the first to make it, I'm sorry. Jiang Yui listened to this sentence with a puzzled expression, and immediately understood what Chen Jiala meant. This guy, getting along with him is just for Fu Yueling. Is there something wrong with him? He hasn't said much to Fu Yueling himself, he's just a normal classmate. Forget it, do as you please. By the way, what's the point of your starry dust? You still haven't even shown any light, right? Jiang Yui said helplessly, then became concerned about Chen Jiala's progress in meditation. As a student, if you don't focus on cultivation and instead focus on things that may interfere with your normal life at any time, it's really boring. However, Chen Jiala's attitude remained indifferent. Just take a few days off, don't worry, I can catch up anytime. There is a fire-related classmate next door who is almost at the stage of communicating with the fourth star. If you continue like this, you will be thrown further and further away. Jiang Yui sighed and was somewhat dissatisfied with Chen Jiala's attitude. After a few more instructions, he returned to his seat and prepared for class. Chen Jiala shrugged nonchalantly. For him, the student who quickly communicated with the star child was just a disciple of the family who possessed the star dust magic weapon. If we put it in one condition, then the gap between us is not very big, and he doesn't necessarily have to be the first place. He just needs to be behind those geniuses, not demanding too much. In the blink of an eye, it has already reached the end of the semester. In this situation, the teacher also needs to have a certain understanding of everyone's learning outcomes, including written exams and cultivation assessments. The written test will be released on your phone, please be careful. As for this stardust stone, you can place your hands on it, just like when you awakened, but I will judge your progress in meditation based on the intensity of the light. At the same time, a comparison will be conducted next semester, hoping that you will not carry it in the past or during winter vacation. Class teacher Yi Ziyuan said, and everyone agreed in unison. Finally, one by one, they went up to the podium to compare the size of each other's stardust. C. Level, not bad. Keep working hard. You should be able to communicate with Xingzi now, right? As the first person, Fu Yueling had just put her hand on it when the light of the stardust stone flashed. Teacher Yi Ziyuan smiled and said to Fu Yueling, Yes, teacher, but it seems that the third star is not willing to communicate with me yet. I need some time, Fu Yueling nodded and explained her problem to Yi Ziyuan. As soon as these two sentences were spoken, more than ten students in the classroom came out. Even Jiang Yui didn't expect that Fu Yueling had almost communicated with the fourth star, and he was almost there. A few days ago, when he saw the shy star, the third star, and saw him running like a pervert who had taken off his pants on the Guantianua Avenue, he couldn't even shout. 
you can't act too hastily, having a beginning is the most important thing. You need to have long-term communication to calm down Xingzi. As far as I know, there are not many students in the same grade who are progressing at the same pace as you. Yi Ziyuan said with satisfaction, also very impressed by his eyes. Choosing Fu Yueling as the class leader is indeed the right choice, and he has excellent results in both theoretical exams and meditation. Amidst the envious gazes of the crowd, Fu Yueling walked off the podium and immediately took the turn of the second student from the Department of Botany to come up. However, his grades were much worse than Fu Yueling's, shining brightly and dimly, appearing very unstable. Don't slack off, work hard. You should be able to reach the level of Fu before the start of next semester. Yi Ziyuan didn't show much expression when facing this situation, and said gently. The next three classmates all had similar situations, both bright and dark, but the duration of their lighting was similar. Yi Ziyuan gave similar evaluations and also provided suggestions. Next, it was Chen Jiala's turn. Chen Jiala took a deep breath and walked up to the podium, placing her hand on the stardust stone, feeling a bit uneasy inside. The green light on the stardust stone lit up, but it didn't take long for it to dim, and the time it lit up became shorter and shorter until it completely disappeared. Chen Jiala's face looked a bit ugly when he saw this scene, and he glanced towards Fu Yueling. However, Fu Yueling had a very plain attitude, which made him feel even more embarrassed. After lending Jiang Yui's book to Fu Yueling, he kept talking in front of her about the conclusions he had drawn from his cultivation, each time becoming more profound and trying to create himself into a nearly perfect character. However, this test now exposed all his lies. Although some students later had lower levels of cultivation than him, there was no way to make him feel relieved, but rather more embarrassed. There were only a dozen or so people in the entire botanical class, and he even ranked last. C. Level, Student Chu, your radiance is even higher than that of Student Fu. It seems that you are also working very hard. Be more confident and you can communicate with the third star faster. Chu Qianwen, a boy wearing glasses like Yi Ziyuan, was only different in his uneasy and slightly smiling expression. After seeing his own radiance, he also breathed a sigh of relief and swept away the nervousness before taking the stage. I understand now, thank you, teacher. Chu Qianwen quickly thanked him and immediately got off the podium. The next one was Jiang Yui next to him. Chen Jiala looked at Jiang Yui and found that he didn't have the same anxious expression or any nervousness as the others. Like Fu Yueling who first came on stage, they all looked very quiet, waiting for their turn to determine. Can Jiang Yui, like Fu Yueling, already be able to communicate with the third star? No, no, Fu Yueling's grades are all very good. Jiang Yui is different, and his theoretical grades are not very good in the class. This test may not be too excellent either. Chen Jiala thought he knew Jiang Yui well. Jiang Yui usually said he would practice after returning home, but no one knows if he really did it. Just like he did just now, he said so much in front of others. If a test doesn't still bring him back to his original form, maybe Jiang Yui is also the same person. Otherwise, how could they be together? Chen Jiala stared intently at Jiang Yui's hand until the stardust stone lit up before shifting his gaze to it, revealing shock in his eyes. Like Fu Yueling, the light lit up and lasted for a long time, almost like Fu Yueling. Seeing another ray of light blooming, Yi Ziyuan also smiled again. Jiang, you are also working hard, but you still need to work hard on your theoretical exam and not be biased towards specific subjects, Yi Ziyuan said earnestly to Jiang Yui. I try my best, but I prefer the demon class, Jiang Yui replied. He is quite good at the demon exam questions, and the rest can be considered average. Chapter 5 Winter Vacation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chen Jiala's eyes became complicated. He didn't expect that Jiang Yui, who seemed to have little ability, would really practice as seriously as Fu Yueling, and even reach the same level as Fu Yueling. The next few, 
the level of meditation is quite average, basically being lazy for a week every month, but it is even better than Chinjala. This makes Chinjala feel even more that his previous indifferent words were seen by Jiang Yui as clown's words. And that Sea Demon illustrated book, it seems that Fu Yueling said she wanted to return it a while ago. How will she face her then? The measurement came to an end, and Yi Ziyuan didn't say much. He instructed the students not to go out easily for a while, and then announced the holiday. Don't go out easily, it's because there have been more demons in the city recently. Even in the demon capital Bay City, it's difficult to take care of the safety of every resident, Jiang Yui said to himself. The number of demons in the city has suddenly increased recently, and Jiang Yui also feels that his aunt has come home much less frequently. Sometimes she only comes back to sleep during the day, looking very tired. This kind of situation often happens, and similar things happen every year. Jiang Yui is also used to the situation where his aunt stays up all night, but occasionally worries about whether she will still live or not. As a woman in her forties, even a magician still works late and will eventually collapse. And recently, this situation will become more frequent at the end of the year. Thank you for this book. Also, don't borrow someone else's book next time. The handwriting on it is obviously not yours. Fu Yueling returned the Sea Demon Illustrated Mirror to Qin Jiala and exposed her lies. I, I didn't mean to, I'm sorry, Qin Jiala said hesitantly, knowing that she had lost a lot of face in front of Fu Yueling. I want to say thank you. This book is actually rarely seen in the demon capital, and it is always sold out. I have no chance to see it again, thank your friend for me, Fu Yueling said. The latest version of the Sea Demon Illustrated book is the dream of many magicians who are dedicated to studying sea demons. After all, it is published by the Ocean Alliance, which includes all the newly emerging sea demon races in the world. Even if it is an imperial capital, this book is sold out on the day of sale, unless someone is willing to queue up in advance or pay a high price to hire someone else to buy it. Chen Jiala has learned about the origin of this sea demon guidebook, but he does not understand how precious it is. Coupled with the creases in this book, it is obvious that Chin Jiala, a student who enjoys sports, would not be so devoted to reading this guidebook. Chin Jiala scratched her head awkwardly, but was completely unaware of the preciousness of this book. She quickly agreed and immediately pulled Jiang Yui out of school. In the end, she returned the guidebook to Jiang Yui. For this situation, Jiang Yui clearly anticipated it long ago, but he didn't expect Qin Jiala to be so indifferent to Mingxiu. If he were serious, with his ability, he could probably reach a level similar to him. Moreover, he always reminded him, but Qin Jiala agreed but didn't really do it. Regarding this book, she said she wanted me to thank you. But is this book really precious? Isn't it just a picture book? Chen Jiala couldn't understand why such a thick book should be cherished so much. What does Fu Yueling look like when she takes it away and returns it? You don't understand, although this book is only priced at around 100 yuan, if it were to be resold, thousands of people would grab it. I waited in line for two days to buy it, Jiang Yui explained, but Chen Jiala was startled. A guidebook worth over a hundred yuan, and someone has been waiting in line for two days. The true value of this book has been underestimated by him. You love reading so much, why aren't you very good in theoretical exams? Chin Jiala thought of this question and immediately asked. Everyone has their own strengths, and I prefer knowledge about demons, especially sea monsters, said Jiang Yui, leaving Chin Jiala alone to ponder on the road. Fu Yueling stood in the building inside the school, looking at the two people from a height, and also saw that the picture book had been collected by Jiang Yui, with a look of dissatisfaction in her eyes. Sure enough, the characters above are not from Qin Jiala, but from Jiang Yui. There are only a dozen students in the whole plant department class. As the monitor, she can see their characters when she helps the teacher deal with students' homework. When she saw Jiang Yui's characters at that time, she felt very familiar with them. 
Then she found that the notes on the atlas were almost the first mock examination the same as Jiang Yui's. And Qin Jiala's hospitality almost made her think it was written by Jiang Yui in Qin Jiala's book. Yueling, my application to work part dot time at the Yaodu Library has also been approved. Now, let's take a look at the good books there. You can also take a look when you rest. A girl, who is about the same age as Fu Yueling but somewhat mature, grabbed her hand and wanted to catch the upcoming bus. Hmm, slow down, the stairs ahead. Fu Yueling quickly said, afraid that her friend might suddenly fall off due to slippery feet. Throughout the winter vacation, students basically have their own plans. Apart from the need for meditation every day, they will learn independently, work part dot time, or travel around. Jiang Yui has no plans, except for practicing meditation. He spends all day reading in his room and then watching his aunt leave early and return late, or not come back for several days. It should be said that Mingxiu is the extra plan for this day, but he occasionally goes out, not to buy anything, but to the high place of the Yao Xiaoman Waste Tower, and then looks into the distant ocean. Since ten years ago, the sea water has been very clear from a high place. Jiang Yui used to be very worried at the guard wall that blocked the sea water would suddenly collapse in the next moment, and a group of sea monsters would appear. In fact, this also happened. But after it happened, he was no longer afraid of such things happening. He even wanted to see how those sea monsters appeared and how many they would cross the safety wall in people's hearts like before, and then come to the group of people who fear sea monsters. He was no longer afraid of the sea monsters who could tear himself into pieces. All he had was hatred, but with these years of peaceful life, this hatred was slowly diluted. The sea was very blue and quiet, with only a few waves appearing, and the mages guarding the wall didn't pay much attention to it. They could see this situation every day. Jiang Yui has seen it many times, but every time a larger wave rises, he instinctively becomes nervous. After staying for almost two hours, Jiang Yui left and prepared to go to the next place, the library. As a book enthusiast who enjoys studying sea monsters, how could he not possibly learn about other demons? Coincidentally, he has not delved deeply into the knowledge of land demons, so just add a little during the winter vacation. After swiping the book card, Jiang Yui entered the library and arrived at the area where demon books were stored. He then picked up a book in the quiet crowd and sat in a corner to read it. Speaking of dragon lizards, this species is also good at swimming in the sea. Why didn't they challenge the sea monsters together? Although their power in Dongting Lake is very strong, they haven't been greatly restricted. It seems that even the country has ignored the threat of this species. However, more than a decade ago, dragon lizards posed a threat to people's travel. Jiang Yui looked at the several dragon lizards introduced in the book and also thought of the most rampant dragon lizard in Dongting Lake, including the existence of pseudo-dragon blooded creatures. On the other hand, just across from the demon book category, there were magic tools and magic tool books. A girl wearing work clothes placed the returned books in their corresponding places, and then pushed the carriage rack back, intending to continue putting those returned books back in their original positions. With the introduction and application from the school, the work of students is basically these relatively easy tasks. Fu Yueling can also come into contact with many books that she has not learned about in her daily life. She plans to use these undesigned things as her next book to read, and silently notes the names of these books at the book garden www.chaoshuyuan.com. Magic tools, as well as accompanying combat effects or other attributes, are suitable for plant-based magic tools and effects. As she walked, Fu Yueling suddenly thought of this question, but restrained herself from turning her head to read the magic tool book, continuing her work, thinking of picking it up to read after the work was over. Two hours later, in the evening, Jiang Yui finished reading a book and put it back in its original place. Then he walked towards the door. Well, Yue Ling, let's go eat first. These books won't be taken away in the short term, so come back to read them after finishing. The girl stopped Fu Yue Ling, 
who was planning to go and pick up the books, and they also took off their work clothes. Okay, I understand now. There won't be anyone going to see these things during this time, Fu Yiwelling said. A few days of work also allowed her to roughly understand which books are the most popular among people who often come to the library. Magic tools and tools are things that most people cannot afford, and even if they can be bought, there is no confirmation of the effectiveness of these things. Just like shield tools, as long as they can save lives, how can they expect them to have the ability to counterattack? So the number of people here is very small. By the way, how is your meditation? Has Xingzi completely obeyed? The girl clearly cares about Fu Yueling's situation. After learning that she can communicate with Xingzi a while ago, she has been very concerned about her control progress. Well, it's already done. We're currently communicating on the third one, and without any accidents, I should be able to fully control all four stars this winter vacation, and the rest should be getting faster and faster. Fu Yueling nodded, but she knew that her control speed was slow in front of the girl in front of her. Chapter 6 Monster Hunting, Part 1 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Jiang Yui put the book back in its original position and looked at the time again, it was already late. Well, magic tools, I don't seem to need these things, but you can take a look at them. Stardust magic tools. Forget it, I'll consider this thing when I can release the magic. Jiang Yui looked at magic books, but ultimately chose to give up this week he is very confident that he can make the fourth star stay where it should be. This star, which had taken him nearly half a month to communicate with, coupled with the guidance of his own aunt, Jiang Yui finally managed to make this star obedient. Please, little brother, come here, I'm begging you. Brother, for the sake of our relationship in the past few days, please don't make any fuss. Please be kind. After several pleadings from Jiang Yui, the fourth star of the plant system finally appeared in front of him with a very proud and coquettish attitude, standing in front of Jiang Yui. Don't bother me with any major matters, and don't take Jiang Yui seriously. You wait, you ignore me now, and you can't climb up to me in the future. Jiang Yui said these words in his heart, but in reality, his expression was very surprised. After the first star returned to his position, he was confident that he could control the other stars as well, and the next stars would also return one by one, and he would definitely be able to unleash magic. After completing the meditation, Jiang Yui's expression, even though somewhat tired, still smiled. Apart from seeing news of some hunters killing the sea demon, it was this rare occurrence that made him very happy. In the following days, in addition to reading books and exercising all day, Jiang Yui is also practicing and communicating with the fifth star, striving to control the fifth star well during this period. In the sewer of the demon city, there is a complex dark pipe network system with a limb that is like a fish fin, but a five-meter tall figure walking rapidly in it. From the shadow behind it, it looks like carrying several round balls the size of a head. It is not until the dim light falls on its body that it knows it is a pus filled with various colors, and it is still irregularly distributed on the back of this sea monster. It looks like a parasite, constantly absorbing the nutrients of this sea monster's body. The black shadow of the round ball on the wall is only caused by the shadow of the larger pus, and there is no trace of those small pus. Amidst the dense pus, a small unnoticed machine was emitting a red light, signaling to the ground's already calibrated equipment, allowing people to capture its current position. Here we go, this guy is moving the pipeline in zone Z3. He seems to have been living here for a long time and is very familiar with the layout of the underground water pipe. He is very fast, Qinghe, Zhiguang, be careful not to encounter it at the next bend at any time. A man who saw the signal immediately told his teammates who had been searching for the sea monster in the underground pipeline. Got it, how close is it to us? Be more specific. Two voices came from the earphones, and the man quickly gave them a more accurate location. When the man named Qinghe learned about it, a dark black light shone on his body, and his body immediately merged into the darkness, transforming into a shadow that quickly passed through the wall. 
Zhao Yoguang used wind magic to make his speed faster, shuttling through the complex underground waterway, and then lit up a cold white star. We will also arrive soon, Achi. Seal the surrounding water outlets and don't let them run to other places. The voice of the captain of the city demon hunting team also came over immediately, giving orders to everyone. The city demon hunting teams in the demon capital are divided into several levels. In addition to the super level mage demon hunting teams that are on standby at any time, there are high dot level mage level demon hunting teams in several district level cities. The next level of town is the mid level mage. At present, this group of city demon hunting teams are mid level demon hunters. The monsters they are dealing with at this time are also sea monsters at the level of war generals. I don't know how many sea monsters lurking in the city have eaten. Yes, Captain. Understood. Fortunately, someone else has checked the underground drain a while ago, and now no one is here. Several team members immediately agreed, and as the captain, Lu Xing looked towards Ning Yun ahead, using the wind track set by the other party to rush there. There is a guide from a team member above, who will not get lost in this complex underground waterway and can quickly reach the target to join forces with other team members to deal with the sea monster. The dark shadows shuttle through countless walls, finally locking in a place where the sea demon aura is strongest. It is a place with many footholds, and there are many metal pipes erected here, making a lot of gurgling sounds of water flowing through the pipes, echoing in this place. Qingha, you're very close to that guy's position. Be careful not to expose yourself. Before he could finish speaking, the man immediately told the others how to reach Qingha's location. I understand, I have already released the giant shadow nail, but I can't see where that guy is, Qingha replied only to find a sizzling sound coming from the earphones, clearly indicating signal interference. But that's impossible. Their headphones are all specially processed, so they won't be detected by demons and can also be well hidden. Why did the signal suddenly disconnect? Is this sea monster capable of interfering with signals? Qingha frowned. There are also many sea monsters with this ability, but most people have not encountered it before, and the impact is not very significant. Therefore, basically no one cares about this ability of sea monsters. It is just to deal with the ability of humans to communicate remotely through machines. In the wild, magicians mostly use voice mages to communicate. But encountering this guy in the city has actually become a limitation, because whenever it is closer to the place where humans live, the normal life of ordinary people will be affected. The signal of any TV or mobile phone cannot be used, and making phone calls makes it impossible to repair, and one will think of the influence of sea monsters. Being in the base city of the demon capital, this situation is definitely not uncommon, so the city demon hunting team will also take immediate action and quickly capture the sea demon. Except for the special signal of the tracker, which cannot be blocked, the signal of the earphones will be blocked. How could this be possible? The signal of the earphones has also been processed. Ching had thought of this problem, but at this point, he couldn't even find where the sea demon was. He could only shuttle through the darkness and check every corner here, but he couldn't find any trace of the sea demon. However, his breath told him that the sea demon had definitely stayed here and had stayed for a long time, otherwise the demon aura wouldn't be so strong. Qinghe wanted to appear and search for the sea demon who might be hiding in a place he didn't know, but he still held back. Going out means being discovered by the sea demon, especially since he is only a mid-level mage. Even if there are giant shadows nailed around, he cannot support him. The strength of a warrior-level sea demon is still terrifying, let alone not suffering much damage yet. This pussy sea monster was scared back to the underground waterway by them. If nothing unexpected happens, this guy is also one of the main culprits causing many humans to go missing in the city. Solving it as soon as possible can ensure human safety. However, the life of the demon hunting wizard is also fate. If it is killed by the sea monster without the effort of blowing dust, it may cause casualties for no reason and may even let it escape. Dida a crisp sound of water droplets appeared in this huge pipe room, 
alerting Qingha. He looked at the place and immediately realized that it was a water droplet pit, which seemed to have been dropped by the water droplets above for a long time, even the pit had appeared. Qingha didn't notice anything and turned his head again to look elsewhere, but soon he suddenly looked up and looked up high. As I just mentioned, the underground water channel has been inspected by the staff and there are no problems. Where did the water droplets appear at this time? At the moment when Qingha was alert and looked up, his own breath immediately leaked out. At the same time, the sea demon hidden in the upper pipeline immediately took off its disguise, and a huge iron plate was thrown from a high place, making a huge roar. His body also jumped towards Qingha's position, and his fins turned into sharp blades, cutting through all the pipelines along the way. He looked for the book garden www.zhaoshuyuan.com and pointed directly at Qingha. Qingha had already noticed something was wrong, and his body immediately reacted. At the same time, the giant shadow nail was also launched, nailing down a cut pipe and blocking other falling pipes. At the same time, the shadow caused by this pipe immediately fled to the original place. The sea monster, full of pus on its back, with limbs and fish fins but able to stand, appeared in Qingha's eyes, emitting a foul odor that made Qingha unable to bear it and quickly moved away from this guy. The pussy sea demon did not turn around, but jumped onto the pipeline. Surprisingly, its smooth fish fin feet could stick to the side of the pipeline. Then, with a strong jump, it quickly caught up with Qingha with the strength of its limbs, and the pipeline also sank. Collapse the pustule sea demon moved rapidly in the air and arrived at Qingha's side. Even the speed of Dunying couldn't get rid of this sea demon, so Qingha had no choice but to activate the second giant shadow nail. One nail body, two nail souls, the second level giant shadow nail is to nail the enemy's soul, making it unable to launch any attacks and defenses, allowing them to be slaughtered. The pussy sea demon did not notice the giant shadow nail behind him, and soon an invisible nail appeared under his feet. His body was also quickly entangled by the invisible dark aura, limiting it. However, Qingha was not yet grateful for it. The fish fin raised by the pussy sea demon surprisingly shook, and its body was fighting against the control of the giant shadow nail, and it wouldn't be long before it broke free. Qingha immediately appeared from the darkness and quickly escaped from this place. Boom! A huge sound penetrated the wall and spread to farther and farther places. Zhao Yoguang, Lu Xing, and Ning Yun all heard the sound and realized that someone was already fighting against the sea demon. They expended more magic energy and wanted to reach their destination as soon as possible. Chapter 7 Monster Hunting, Part 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Qinghe's Shadow Department is a minor, majoring in water department. When he runs to safety, the blue stars on his body immediately light up, and 49 stars form a star map in a few seconds, causing Qingha to create a storm out of thin air. Storm Wave, Destroy The blue-purple storm engulfed the pussy sea monster, who had not yet broken free from the shackles of the giant shadow nail. Despite its powerful magical power, Qingha did not feel that this move could seriously damage the pussy sea monster. Instead, he immediately hid his breath under this blow, and then fled into darkness, escaping from here. However, Qingha did not leave immediately. He was also observing the movements of the pussy sea demon from a distance at this moment. If other people arrived at this time, he could also cooperate with his teammates to trap the pussy sea demon here. He is indeed not an opponent of the general level sea demon, but it does not mean that he does not have the power to fight, it is just difficult to confront him head dot on. The pussy sea demon is being impacted by the blue-purple waves, but as a sea demon, it will not be severely injured by this water magic. Instead, it can use this magic to impact itself and better break free from the constraints of the giant shadow nail. Not long after, the pustule sea demon reappeared in the raging waves, seemingly unharmed, and the confinement of the shadow spike became noticeably loose. Under the strong struggle of the pussy sea demon, the giant shadow nail completely disappeared, 
and the pussy sea demon was also released from confinement. With a humanized movement of his muscles and bones, he immediately searched for Qinghe. Unfortunately, as a shadow mage, Qinghe is best at hiding his own breath in the dark. The pussy sea demon immediately launched an indiscriminate attack on the nearby shadows, hoping to force Qinghe out. Qinghe is not a simple shadow mage, and when he is about to be attacked, he immediately shuttles to the other side of the pipeline. The metal pipeline may be damaged or sunken, but it will not be pierced at once. We need to hold on, this guy won't leave now, and the sound of the battle just now should have been heard by others. Let's find time to set up the giant shadow nails. Qinghe looked at the pussy sea monster attacking recklessly, thinking about countermeasures in his mind. The sound of metal pipes being cut open also appeared in this place, and Qinghe rode away from the pussy sea demon. There is only sewage being discharged from some pipelines, which is cut open and flows out of the pipelines. These sewage have become weapons manipulated by the pussy sea demon, turning into sharper water blades and cutting towards the surroundings. As more and more pipelines are damaged, more and more sewage is left behind, including not only daily wastewater, but also a lot of excrement. These things fall down together, making the place full of unbearable odors. Qinghe covered his nose and wanted to continue to endure, but in the end, he jumped out of the shadows and used his water resistance to purify the surrounding sewage, giving himself some time to endure. However, this also exposed himself. The pussy sea demon immediately broke open the cut pipes around and killed Qinghe. The surrounding sewage also changed the direction of the attack, gathering together to block his escape direction. Li Dun Qinghe saw this situation and knew that his water palace and Dunian could not solve it. He immediately used his shield magic tool, and a bronze shield quickly appeared in front of Qinghe. The pussy sea demon couldn't dodge and hit the shield with its sharp blades and fins, but it didn't cut open the shield. The body collided with this shield, feeling dizzy and disoriented, temporarily losing the ability to attack. The sewage also collapsed in an instant, only turning into waves and hitting Qinghe's body, but not harming him. Damn it! Qinghe cursed and then heard a familiar voice. Qinghe, come towards me. Zhao Youguang ran out of a place and immediately shouted. At the same time, Qinghe heard the sound of many chains and immediately realized something, running towards Zhao Youguang's place. A cold chain appeared from the frozen pipeline, immediately tying up the pussy sea monster that had not been avoided, and the cold air froze the surrounding sewage, making it difficult for the pussy sea monster to manipulate the sewage even after waking up. You're not injured, are you? Zhao Youguang manipulated the ice lock and asked about Qinghe's situation. Fortunately, this guy has no way to deal with me in the short term. Your wind turbine cannot be used here, and the ice lock will not cause much damage to it. Hold it down. Qinghe said immediately. Zhao Youguang also nodded, realizing that his mid. Level magic had no way to deal with this sea monster, and could only temporarily restrain it. Before long, the ice lock would be broken, allowing this guy to break free from his constraints. However, Qinghe did not wait for others to arrive. In this safe place, he once again used the giant shadow nail. Two nails plunged into the darkness and immediately nailed down the body of the pussy sea demon. The pustule sea demon, who had just escaped from captivity, did not get free for long before being bound again by the giant shadow nails. Moreover, they were two giant shadow nails and needed stronger strength to break free. Zhao Youguang has been using his mental energy to control the ice lock to bind the pussy sea demon, while also freezing the surrounding area. The two of them are waiting for the arrival of others. Captain Lu Xing and Ning Yun also arrived under the guidance of the upper team members. Captain Lu Xing also had a purple star map on his body, which could transform into a violent lightning attack on the target at any moment. Captain, Ning Yun, hurry up, this guy is under control. Zhao Youguang quickly said, and several ice locks around him also cracked due to the powerful aura released by the pustule sea demon. If it weren't for the existence of the giant shadow nail, 
this guy would have called for sewage in the pipeline to attack them long ago. The pussy sea monster can resist the constraints of ice locks and giant shadow nails with its body power alone. As long as it can cast magic, it is equivalent to having ubiquitous weapons to attack them in this sewage pipe room, and the foul smell of sewage also interferes with their casting. Lu Xing looked at the pussy sea monster about to break free from control, and the purple star map turned into thunderclouds on top of everyone's heads. The roar echoed in this pipeline room. Thunderbolt, Yiksha. With a command, the brewing thundercloud immediately split out a devil's claw and landed on the pussy sea monster, while also breaking the ice locks. The loud thunder echoed through the entire pipeline room, but the four people present did not shift their gaze due to the intense sound. They patiently looked towards the place with strong cold air, and finally saw the pussy sea monster with its back full of broken pussy and flowing thick water, but its body was still bound by the giant shadow nail and unable to move. The broken ice around him did not melt immediately, and the pussy sea demon was unable to use his magic at this time. Seeing this, Lu Xing immediately connected another star map and wanted to attack the pussy sea demon again. The giant shadow nail loosened, and the pussy sea monster suffered a blow to the nocturnal fork. It felt very painful inside and burst out with even stronger strength, but still did not break free before the second nocturnal fork arrived. It once again ate the thunderbolt nocturnal fork, and a sharp blade of the fish fin was chopped off, causing great trauma to its body. Undoubtedly, it is a thunder-type magic with spiritual seeds that dealt a heavy blow to the pussy sea demon in just two strikes. It seems that as long as we are careful next, we can take down this pussy sea demon. Qinghe was very pleased to see this situation. It's not that he doesn't envy powerful thunder magic, it's mainly because his water system really can't harm sea monsters, and he's not a mage who fights head dot on. Shadow magic is all control type. Ji Guang, freeze the surrounding pipelines and don't let them use any magic. Qinghe's giant shadow nail is also ready, Ning Yun, don't I need to say it, right? Lu Xing issued instructions to everyone, and everyone understood the captain's words and immediately followed suit. Ning Yun parted ways with the captain, and flames condensed in his hands. As long as the pussy sea monster in the cold dared to charge forward, the fierce fist would definitely let it know the pain of burning. Collapse. At this moment, a metallic sound was emitted from the strong cold, and no one else knew what was happening, but Qinghe immediately shouted. Be careful, this guy can use the pipeline to explode at a very fast speed, pay attention to his arms. At this moment, Qinghe doesn't care whether it's his arms or his fins. Anyway, the pustule sea demon is used as a hand. Since it can sharp cut through the pipeline, it is also very simple to cut through a person, which is also a very dangerous attack ability. ZhaoZhuyuan.com A huge figure immediately appeared in the cold mist, heading towards the Captain Lu Xing. The speed exceeded Ning Yun's expectations, but it also contained the flames and condensed a huge fire fist. Guanyo, Painted Wall Captain Lu Xing was already prepared and cast a light-based defense magic in front of him. Several golden painted walls protected him and also prevented the pussy sea demon from shifting its direction to attack Ning Yun. Lai Quan, Di Sha. The pussy sea demon immediately stopped in mid-air, wanting to jump over the painting wall. However, the floor under its feet collapsed, and flames spewed out from below. A flame flower engulfed it, and Lu Xing and Ning Yun immediately distanced themselves from this earth demon, shining with other magic on their bodies. Wind Track, Thunder Seal, and the two of them only released basic magic in a second. In the next moment, the pussy sea monster covered in black scars ran out of the earth demon, bypassing the painted wall guardian, attempting to manipulate sewage attacks, but was all blocked by the frozen pipeline ice wall. The thunder seal magic attacked like a python, and with a furious strike, it caused wounds to appear on the pussy sea demon's body again, while also making the pussy sea demon roar. Ga. The pussy sea demon once again locked onto Lu Xing, but with the help of Ning Yun's wind track, 
Lu Xing suddenly increased his speed and escaped from this guy's attack range. The pussy sea demon immediately rushed forward, only to find a familiar aura in the surrounding darkness. Therefore, it immediately changed direction and avoided the sudden appearance of the giant shadow spike. Get away from it, Ning Yun, be careful. Ching He quickly shouted when he saw this scene. The pustule sea demon, who had changed direction, instinctively saw Ning Yun who was closest to it. He opened his bloody mouth and grabbed a broken pipe, throwing it towards Ning Yun. Chapter 8 Regrets from 10 Years Ago You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ning Yun originally wanted to throw the fire seed out, but when he saw the pipe flying towards him, he immediately cancelled the magic and turned to use the wind track to accelerate his speed, escaping the flying pipe. At the same time, he also saw the scene of the pussy sea demon running towards him. The wind disc is useless in this place, Captain. Zhao Youguang quickly said, then manipulating the ice lock to interfere with the pussy sea demon, and on the other side, he also saw Lei Yun reappear. Ning Yun wanted to distance himself from the pussy sea demon with his body movements, but the pussy sea demon was pressing hard step by step, and even the speed of the wind track couldn't shake off this guy. In addition, there were many pipes around him, and Ning Yun's space to move was becoming increasingly limited. Ice Lock opened up a lot of obstacles behind Ning Yun, and the cold frost gas was visible to the naked eye, but it did not affect the pussy sea demon at all. The restraint just now only controlled its body and did not make its bones stiff. At this time, Ice Lock was just a more fragile and weak pipeline, and even with only one arm left, it could be easily cut open. Just as the pussy sea demon continued to advance, a lightning bolt appeared from behind the thundercloud once again, directly penetrating the body of the pussy sea demon. A bloody hole was in the pussy sea demon's chest, and the pussy sea demon had to fall to the ground due to this strike. Ning Yun did not stop when he saw the situation, but ran to a relatively safe and responsive distance to avoid the pussy sea demon struggling before death. The giant shadow nail reappeared, and now the injured pussy sea monster had no extra strength to resist this confinement. The broken ice locks around it also fell to the ground, constantly emitting the power of cold ice, freezing the ground around it. Finally, the ice vines spread onto it. Don't use the fierce fist, there are still some doubts about the pus behind this guy. In the past, the red ling demon was wearing red armor, but this guy actually looks like this. We must keep the whole body and investigate what's going on with it. Captain Lu Xing saw that Ning Yun wanted to gather the fierce fist again and immediately said. This guy with pus all over his back is actually a red ling demon. Generally speaking, the red lingyao can indeed enter human cities through a certain gap and hide in the underground water system. However, even in dimly lit environments, the armor on its body is still red. As a result, the armor is now missing and pus has grown on its back, which is very strange. Lei Yun arrived at the top of the Red Ling Demon, and under Lu Xing's precise control, a thunderbolt shattered the Red Ling Demon's heart, causing it to die completely. Upon seeing this scene, everyone did not relax, but watched quietly until the surroundings of the Red Ling Demon became a blood puddle. They then walked confidently to the body of the Red Ling Demon, stepped on the ground's blood, and squatted down to examine it. It is indeed the red ling demon that Ah Chi mentioned, but there has been a significant change in color, and there are no armor like those. They are all pustules, otherwise we might not be able to easily take this guy off. Ning Yun frowned and endured the foul smell of pus discharge, saying to others. At the beginning of being attacked by the thunderbolt Yiksha, the pustules behind the red ling demon were torn apart, and a lot of pus and blood flowed out. When mixed together, it could be compared to the foul smell of sewage. The pus behind this guy is very strange. Be careful not to touch it easily. Has the earphone signal been restored? Lu Xing said to the earphones. It took some time for the signal to recover here, and he also heard the sound above. Captain, are you okay? The signals have all disappeared, and the signal from that sea demon is also gone. A hurried voice came over, 
sounding very concerned about the safety of those who were fighting against the sea demon. Fortunately, let's go find the magic association and relevant departments to investigate the situation of this red ling demon and repair all the pipes here, said Lu Xing. Okay. Ning Yun doesn't want to stay here for too long. The stench on the ground is so strong that she can hold on as a woman without vomiting. Moreover, there is frozen excrement. Even the two men, Ching He and Zhao Youguang, can't hold on much, so she has to move to another place to breathe. I have to change my shoes again, this pus discharge is so disgusting. Sai, Ning Yun said helplessly. She originally wanted to take off her shoes directly, but realized that there were no other shoes here, so she had to endure and continue wearing them. When she got up, she bought a new pair of shoes. What's going on with the pus all over his body? It looks so disgusting, how could Red Lingyao become like that? Zhao Youguang also asked Ning Yun at this moment. Ning Yun and the captain observed up close, and the two of them couldn't resist the smell and immediately left without going to watch. I don't know, there are only some flesh strands connecting its body in the pustule. To be precise, it's not even a parasitic plant, it should be some kind of parasite. It's not easy for the armor of the Red Ling Demon to be abandoned, but we don't know what it is. Ning Yun replied, watching as the captain walked over from there. However, Lu Xing shook his head and said he didn't understand what it was. Not long after, the members of the Magic Association arrived from above, looking at the pipe room that had been cut open by the Red Ling Demon. Everyone frowned, wondering how much it would cost to repair it, and the street above would have a foul odor for another period of time. Lu Xing explained everything to them, then left here with the team members, returned to the stronghold, and immediately took a shower. Ning Yun asked Dachi, who had not participated in the war above, to buy a new pair of shoes. Achi is a girl with a delicate appearance but a slight pockmark on her face. She looks very hardworking and immediately went out upon hearing Ning Yun's words. When she returned, Ning Yun also took a shower. Sister Ning Yun, you're really amazing. You can even enter the sewer, it's so smelly. Achi looked at Ning Yun with envy and then handed him the bought shoes. Ning Yun smiled helplessly and said, As a hunter, I have encountered all kinds of environments. I have encountered situations where I use soil to hide in the wild. Ning Yun used to operate as a wilderness hunter until ten years ago when the sea monsters launched a war. She joined the city demon hunting team and traveled through the city to deal with the sea monsters that could appear at any time. Yes, Sister Ning Yun, you used to be a hunter in the wilderness. Why did you become a member of the city demon hunting team? As far as I know, if a wilderness hunter had a good reputation, he would earn more money than the people in the city demon hunting team, and it would be even easier. Achi, a newcomer who had just arrived here, asked with some confusion after hearing Ning Yun's words. Little did they know that this sentence made the entire demon hunting team silent, and the atmosphere was suddenly extremely awkward. Achi also realized that he seemed to have said the wrong thing and quickly said, if Sister Ning Yun doesn't want to say anything, then don't say it. I'm just asking, there's no intention of offending. It's okay, it's just that it's a sad thing, isn't it? Ning Yun waved his hand and approached Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com, saying that Achi didn't have to worry too much. My only family lives here, he's still young, I just can't trust leaving. After saying these words, Ning Yun thanked Achi and left the demon hunting place, walking towards his own home. At this point, the sky had turned white, and many people in the city had also woken up to start a new day, but had no idea that there had been a battle underground a few hours ago. Ning Yun opened the door, intending to take a nap, but remembered what he had just said. He then opened the door to Jiang Yui's room again and looked at the slightly immature face of Jiang Yui, who was sleeping soundly. His tired expression finally showed a smile, and he finally returned to his own room. Inside the demon hunting house, Achi sat on the side with some guilt. Just now, I heard someone talk about Ning Yun. 
After realizing that Ning Yun's family was mostly left with the children left by her sister, I realized why Ning Yun stayed and why others fell silent after saying that. The people in the city demon hunting center mostly stayed here because of the sea demon war. Ten years ago, each of them had their own reputation, but after the war, the city was devastated and needed to deal with the sea demons hidden in the city at any time. That's why they stayed and fought against those sea demons together. Most people who have stayed in this demon hunting place for more than five years entered because of this situation, and later newcomers were more or less aware of this matter, but did not inquire in detail. That child is Ning Yun's only family, and it is said that it was her sister's support that enabled her to learn magic. Ten years ago, in the war, the sea demon attack was too sudden. If Ning Yun were not a magician, she would probably have died there at that time, so she wouldn't have been able to take away a child. Chapter 9 Pastoral New Jiao You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the following days, Jiang Yui continued to cultivate and control the stars. With the experience of the first star, he also understood that when encountering other stars, it is necessary to understand the personality of this star, and then take targeted actions to gradually narrow the distance with the star. Before the end of the winter vacation, Jiang Yui finally stopped the fifth star and followed the fourth star to their rightful position. At this point, Jiang Yui was also able to clearly perceive a slight difference in his stardust compared to a month ago, and the movement trajectory of the stars became increasingly clear. At that time, how many months did it take for you, auntie? Jiang Yui told Ning Yun about his control progress, and suddenly wanted to know how long it took Ning Yun to communicate with the fourth star in the months after awakening the magic. At that time, we didn't have the conditions you have now. We could practice carefree without doing anything, Ning Yun said quietly, making Jiang Yui feel embarrassed. Speaking of which, he really didn't do anything. He just kept practicing and reading at home, which was enough. The key was that he always felt that he wouldn't get Ning Yun's approval for what he wanted to do, such as going to the magic association to watch someone dissect the body of a demon. He had read so many sea demons from the book and understood the weaknesses of the vast majority of them. Sometimes he dreamed of trying to dissect the sea demon once, but after proposing this idea a few years ago, it was rejected by Ning Yun. So, how many months did it take you to cultivate a magic? Jiang Yui asked tentatively. Ning Yun did not hide, eating without looking up to answer Jiang Yui's words. I used it for over a year, and it wasn't until graduation that I practiced the second level of basic magic. After hearing this, Jiang Yui said, oh, with a seemingly incomprehensible expression. Isn't that considered a natural talent? Auntie is also considered a genius, no wonder she can cultivate to a mid-level mage. For many people, mid-level mages can be considered very powerful. Although high-dot-level and super-level mages have been heard of, it is difficult to see them firsthand. Those powerful mages have their own tasks or lives that ordinary people cannot imagine. Moreover, some mages, in the absence of military mages, also accompany demons and live in the city for a shorter period of time. Ning Yun smiled and didn't speak. The start of school once again has made all students nervous, and now they are even more nervous than the day of awakening magic after the winter vacation, we need to conduct another measurement of the star sent stone and face a creature summoned by a summoning mage. We also need to rank for it and have a chance to cultivate star dust magic tools. The higher the ranking, the longer the time the stardust magic has, and the faster the cultivation efficiency will be obtained. I don't know how many students without stardust magic need to be eliminated. Although there are some family geniuses in the base city of the demon city, there are not many ordinary disciples who compare themselves to those people. They have had stardust magic tools since the day of awakening magic, and now the fastest one has controlled the fifth star child. For ordinary people who do not have star dust magic tools, their control speed with three or four star children is already very fast. Mu Feiying, a disciple of the Mu family in the space department. Lei is a disciple of the Zhao family, Zhao Zhihai. The disciples of these two most powerful clans in China, 
as well as the two fastest cultivators among high school freshmen, have already reached their fifth star in the final assessment. It is unknown how many magic weapons they still possess, perhaps even controlling magic weapons, which is why they have such a fast speed. These are unmatched by students without any equipment, unless they are naturally gifted. However, until now, the freshmen in the first year of high school have not shown their innate talents. In previous years, there have been one or two, but no one cares. Some innate talents can only be known after being able to release magic. Among the disciples of these two clans, there is another person, who is a disciple of the Dali family, Li Guangxing, of the Earth lineage. His control progress has reached the fourth star child, and he received a rating close to B. Level in his previous meditation practice, which was confirmed by the vice principal. He has further improved to B. Level, surpassing the first two meditation practitioners, but slightly inferior in control speed. However, this situation has changed in the eyes of most people. Mu Feiying transferred to another school during the winter vacation and left Zhou Long No. 3 Magic High School, leaving Zhao Zhihai and Li Guangxing. Zhao Zhihai and Li Guangxing reached the sixth star in a new measurement, with the same progress of meditation and control. Li Guangxing controlled all six stars in just over a month, while Zhao Zhihai improved the progress of Ming cultivation to AB. Level level. The existence of the two people has opened up countless people. The two individuals were considered the top in their respective magic departments, so they were also the first two to be tested. Among the students in the elemental department, they both felt a huge sense of defeat. In the plant system of white magic, Fu Yueling, as the class monitor, is still at the C. level and has controlled the fourth star. After that, there will be Chu Qianwen, whose radiance has improved slightly compared to last semester, but his progress in control has also reached the fourth star from zero. Jiang Yui's situation is similar to Fu Yueling's, they are both at the C. level and have controlled the fourth star. Most of the students in the Department of Botany are ordinary students, and there is no one who uses the Stardust Magic tool to accelerate cultivation efficiency. Of course, among the previous two editions of the Department of Botany, there was one who was a disciple of a certain family with a very high cultivation talent. Now he has reached the third level of magic, and there is also a great opportunity to enter these two universities, the Imperial Pearl School, which is highly valued by several school leaders. Jiang Yui looked at Qin Jiala and found that his grades had indeed improved slightly, but he still hadn't communicated with many stars. As for the progress of meditation, it was only slightly close to level C, but there was still some distance left. He is still slack off and doesn't know what he is doing during the winter vacation. After all the students took the first test, the school quickly opened an opportunity to face the summoning beast. At that time, many students gathered around the homeroom teacher, all of whom wanted to apply to cancel this encounter with the summoning beast. The more students there are, the more chaotic the class becomes. On the contrary, other black and white magic and dimensional magic students are relatively quiet. Even if some people want to apply for cancellation, it will not be too noisy. There are also three people from the botanical department who have applied for cancellation. How long do you have confidence to persist? Qin Jiala asked Jiang Yui at this moment. Qin Jiala felt that he still had some hope. He was just a summoning beast, and if it wasn't a real demon, there wouldn't be any problems. He also felt that he had the courage to watch horror movies alone in a dimly lit room without much fear. I don't know, but I don't think I will faint. Jiang Yui thought of a long time ago when he was taken away by his aunt Ning Yun, and went to Shuyuan www.chaozhuyuan.com to see a sea monster roaring in front of him. The terrifying and ferocious appearance is still vivid in his mind, but at that time, he only felt scared, but did not faint. At that time, it was the time when I was most afraid, and even my aunt did not give me a great sense of security. With a bloodthirsty mouth and a ferocious aura, even the most ferocious guy was solved by Ning Yun. In the end, he took himself to the bottom of the demon capital tower, but only himself and her, and his parents who did not learn magic, became the targets of the sea demon's torture. 
And afterwards, he never felt anything else terrifying anymore, because the most terrifying thing had already appeared when he was very young, and the most terrifying thing was just his parents leaving him when he was most powerless. As we walked towards the vast playground, someone was already waiting on the podium. A woman with a smile looked at the students, causing many inexperienced students to lose their minds. Who is this female teacher, why is she so beautiful, and she looks like she has an extraordinary status? Even the vice principal sits next to her, seemingly lower in status than her. Board member, Mu Nujio, she is the founder of State Dragon Magic High School. Soon, a student found out who the woman was and immediately spoke up. Soon, all the students exclaimed in surprise, and their eyes towards the Mu Nu Jiao increased in envy and admiration. The students who later learned the news also looked at them with the same eyes, but couldn't stop. They had to walk very reluctantly to the designated position, and then looked at the Mu Nu Jiao on the podium. Mu Nu Jiao is also a famous super-level mage, and this is also a living super-level mage that these students have seen with their own eyes, and the most beautiful one. Chapter 10 Moving Forward You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The elder who looked very majestic next to Munujio was the principal of the State Dragon Magic High School, Fon Li. The position of Fon Li seems that even the vice principal dare not act recklessly, speaking cautiously, afraid of disturbing the presiding judge from the magic city. I heard that Ms. Munujio is still majoring in the Department of Botany, so if we perform well this time, we may still get her guidance, Chu Qianwen whispered. All the students in the Department of Botany lit up their eyes and looked at Mu Nijio again. Leading the team, Yi Ziyuan also felt that this was a reasonable thing, so he once again instructed them not to make some mistakes that may be made later. At this moment, Mu Nu Jiao seemed to have noticed the gaze from the botanical student and looked over, smiling slightly. As a botanical mage, Mu Nujio also felt the botanical aura from that group of students, and her cultivation levels seemed to be similar. If there were no outstanding family members, it would be a group of ordinary people's families who, after awakening to magic for several months, practiced to this level. It is indeed not wrong. She looked over, did she look over? She looks really good when she smiles. If she were our teacher, maybe I wouldn't leave a single word behind. Hmm. Upon hearing this sentence, Yi Ziyuan turned his head in confusion and looked at the student who said it. Good guy, he fell behind in his lectures on emotions, right? I'll give this guy another test later and see how much he has learned. The student who spoke saw Yi Ziyuan's gaze and felt a thump in his heart, with a premonition that something big was not going well. At the center of the playground, a huge barrier appeared. Under everyone's gaze, a water blue cage quickly appeared, isolating the playground from the students outside. Several teachers immediately entered, and finally the summoned mage who was invited over. He walked towards the center of the playground and opened the moon white star track. Everyone is watching this person's orbit, especially the two students from the summoning department who have awakened. They are very familiar with this moon white star, and they deal with it every day now. However, there is still a long time before it is released, let alone so slippery. Dimension Summoning Wolf Beast A star orbit opened up the space, and in this door of space, the first thing to enter everyone's eyes was the huge head, as well as the huge fangs exposed in the air. Drool kept dripping on the ground, and the body slowly moved forward, revealing a neck that was more powerful than an ordinary coyote, a body that was one size larger than a camel and covered in rocky muscles, and the deep blue hair that pricked like needles. The students standing at the front wanted to carefully watch the release of this beginner magic, but they completely forgot that it was still a summoning magic, summoning a demon full of a killing aura. Quickly, the front group of students had uncontrollable legs and trembled violently as the wolf beast slowly approached the edge of the barrier. Finally, they had to retreat and wanted to stay away from the wolf beast. Without any preparation or a teacher shouting to start, a direct call was made, and all the students in front who were close to the barrier collapsed in fear as the wolf beast approached the edge of the barrier. They evacuated towards the back in fear, 
and the students behind were also infected by fear, especially when they saw the greedy gaze of the wolf beast, they ran back uncontrollably. The wolf beast watched as some students were still persevering ahead. At the sign of its owner, it began to lift its head, and the teachers around it also lit up with a magical light. Ahem. With this howl, the aura of the wolf beast itself was completely released, full of aggression and the foul smell of the wolf beast itself rushed onto the faces of the students. Not to mention the students in front, even the students behind couldn't help but tremble when they heard this sound. Even under the voice of the students in front, some students planned to withdraw from the opportunity to face the wolf beast. The school leaders and teachers saw this situation with ease. It has been like this for several years, but most of the students have run away, and there are still some students in front. Faced with the roar of the wolf beast, they did not retreat too far. Among the first-year high school students, Zhao Zhihai and Li Guangxing, who are the fastest cultivators, were not afraid, as if they had seen this kind of wolf beast before. They just furrowed their brows slightly due to the splashing saliva, and there was not much expression left. There were not many students standing behind the two of them, only a few of them were seven. Even so, their legs were still trembling and they dared not approach a single point, including a summoning student. Some students in the Department of Botany also don't want to get close, even if there is a barrier guarding them. The oncoming ferocity makes it difficult for them to control their fear, and they even regret why they accepted this impossible encounter with the wolf beast. The teachers within the barrier weakened the voice of the wolf beast, while the teachers of the soul department tried their best to appease the students who had fled due to fear, because there were also students who had been scared and fainted in the past, and some even appeared in danger. Therefore, the school arranged for them to assist. You can go over now, of course, if you're really scared, you can skip it. No one will laugh at you because everyone behind you is the same. Yi Ziyuan turned around and looked at the few people who hadn't retreated yet, saying to them. The students feel scared just because they are being watched by the wolf beast, let alone howling. With the release of their wild aura, even the students who awaken magic are just a group of ordinary people, and they don't even know magic. They are a group of slightly better physique ordinary people who will still flee from this scene due to fear. It is indeed too early for these students to take this kind of test in their first year of high school, but it is also for their future. Since they are magicians, they will definitely encounter demons in the future. They cannot run away every time. Only by eliminating their fear of demons time and time again, and releasing magic in fear, can they achieve breakthroughs. This is the true purpose of the event held by Zhou Long Magic High School. The base city of Yaodu has been in existence for ten years, and in this situation, they still maintain the original state of the base city because demons are invading human cities. The demons have not been in a war initiated by the sea demons for nearly ten years, but it cannot be said that those sea demons are no longer interested in the base city of the demon capital. They have always been watching closely, waiting for the moment when humans slack off before launching an attack, hoping to kill all humans and use the magician as their food. Students are the future of a city, and if they can weaken their fear of demons, even if they dare to directly release a magic, it may also play a significant role for a team. Jiang Yui looked at Fu Yueling who had not retreated, as well as several other students from the Department of Botany. They were all looking at each other, and none of them walked forward. It seems like I should start the game, Jiang Yui took a deep breath, suppressed his heart's intense beating, and walked towards the boundary of the playground. The other students also started walking forward under the signal of their respective homeroom teachers, but their faces were all ugly. After all, this was their first time facing a demon, and they never expected that they would be so embarrassed when facing the demon's howl. The real demon was also much more terrifying than they imagined. Me too, I'll go too. Fu Yueling hesitated for a moment and followed Jiang Yui. Chu Qianwen had already been scared and left here. He was already a bit unconfident, and coupled with the release of the ghost wolf beast aura this time, he couldn't calm down. In fact, both Jiang Yui and Fu Yueling showed signs of panic at first, 
but it was still because of the slight sense of security brought by the barrier that they did not leave here. After calming down, they mustered up the courage to step forward. Yi Ziyuan saw this small gesture and he also appreciated the psychological qualities of these two students. Perhaps both of them had seen the sea demon when they were young, after all, at their age, they remembered it ten years ago. When the demon was attacked by the sea demon, the whole city knew about it. Suddenly, Yi Ziyuan thought of Jiang Yui's background. I almost forgot whether he lost both parents or when he was so young. Yi Ziyuan looked at Jiang Yui, but did not see the shadow left by the disaster on him at all. I hope it's what I thought, Yi Ziyuan sighed. In the past, Jiang Yui's cheerful demeanor had made him forget about Jiang Yui's situation. However, he remembered that Jiang Yui's current guardian was one of his relatives. Perhaps it was the presence of that relative that helped him erase the shadow of his parents' passing, which was also a very good thing. Jiang Yui looked ahead and vaguely noticed that the wolf beast did not show true ferocity, and there were also teachers around. The magic they each released greatly calmed the students' emotions, avoiding losing control. The closer they got, the more obvious this situation became. However, Jiang Yui also believes that this may be an illusion, as he is not yet clear about what other magic looks like, and can only distinguish what kind of magic it is based on color. Not long after, there were not many students approaching the playground. Some students sat down in front of the barrier, sweating profusely, indicating their inner fear and bravery. Most of the students in this class are not very outstanding, but there are so many people persevering in this state, which is very good. Mu Nujio saw the students constantly moving forward and said with some relief, looking at the two students who have been persisting at the forefront. They were all fake if they were not affected, but their psychological resilience was better. Perhaps it was because they had seen demons up close, and the existence of barriers prevented them from retreating immediately. When they regained their senses, the two of them stood at the forefront without hesitation, neither of whom was convinced. Fong Li looked at the students and nodded in agreement, without speaking. 